Okay, good afternoon class. So today we're looking at decimal fractions or decimals. So we are told that by definition the decimal system is the method of counting in groups of 10. The first three decimal fractions are tens, hundreds, when uh, the tens when a whole number is divided by 10 equal parts, hundreds when a uh, tenth is divided into 10 equal parts, or the whole is cut into 100 equal parts, and a thousand is cut into 1,000 uh, equal parts. Okay, and this example of the decimal thing, and it shows you what one unit looks like. If you cut it into 10, that's one tenth. Okay, and this is one hundredth of a unit. Can you see that, people? In the decimal system, digits after the decimal point, uh, point represent the decimal fraction with denominators of 10, 100, 1000 and so on. Okay? All numbers don't show the decimal points, but they are hiding at the end of them. Okay? So if you've got 18, 18 can be written as 18 comma 0. Or 18 comma 0, 0, 18 comma 0, 0, 0, or 18 comma... Zero, 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 zero. Okay? It's all the same thing. These zeros make no difference to the size of the whole number. It, in other words, it doesn't have a place value. Not so. Skill objectives. In this case, we're going to look at decimal systems, place value, computing size of decimals. This is in this video, the first three. Skill four, five, and six is adding decimals, subtracting decimals, multiplying. 7, 8, 9, you look at multiplying by groups of 10, divided by decimals, divided by groups of 10. 10, 11, and 12, converting decimals into fractions, converting fractions into decimals, and decimal currency. At this point, you guys have done the diagnostic test already, not so. Right, so let's go straight into it. We are told that write these mixed numbers as a decimal. So 6 and 7 over 10 can be written as 6, 7. Do you all agree with that? Okay, so there's 7 tenths. So 1 over 100 is 0, 0,01. So that's 1 hundred. Not so. So this can be written as 9, comma, 0, 1. You all agree with that? See any confusion? The next one, this is 19 thousandths. So only the, the 9 over 1000 can be written as 0, comma, 0, 1, 9. So this is going to be 11, comma, 0, 1, 9. Okay. For those of you who are a bit confused then, remember, there's 1, 0, so there's 1 digit off the comma. 2 zeros, 2 digits off the comma. Can you see that, people? 3 zeros, 3 digits off the comma. Okay. You okay, Michael? Right. Number two. Number two, we are asked to write these decimal numbers as mixed numbers. Okay. So if it's one decimal of the comma, the denominator is going to be 10. Two decimals? And three decimal? 1,000. Okay. So the first one will simply be two holes and three tenths. So it's two and three and three tenths. Do you agree with that? The next one is going to be six holes and three hundredths. Okay? And then the next one is going to, of course, be nine holes and nine thousandths. Okay? What if they gave you six and six, um, six comma six, if that was the sum? And what would that be? 6 and 6 over 10. But what number goes into both? 2. 2 going to 6, 3 times. 2 going to 10, 5. Give you an answer of 6 and 3 over 5. Okay, you must always simplify. Yes, Michael? Yes? So in an exam, if we, um, if we do that, uh, 
The reason why I'm showing you this is because that is what I want you to do. Okay. So give me a minute quickly, let's just sort this out. Let's place values here. So we got first thing, units, tens. On that side we have tens, hundreds, thousands. Not so. We get one tenth, two units, and five tenths. Not so. That is A. Let's look at B. B was five units, one tenth, one hundredth. 7,000. C, you got 8 tenths, 9 units, 2 tenths, and 3 hundredths. Not so. If you want, you can put this in the table. Okay. Write the, these decimals in expanded form. 5.3 or 5 comma 3 can be written as 5 plus 0 comma 3. It also can be written as 5 multiplied by 1 plus 3 multiplied by 10 and the minus 1. Ready? How much change? Thank you. Okay, let's look at the next one. In expanded form, this would be 8 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 comma 0 0. Not so. So this can be written as 8 multiplied by 1 plus 4 multiplied by 0 a tenth to the minus 1 plus 7 multiplied by 10 to the minus. Let's look at C. It's 47 comma 315. So this can be written as 40 plus 7 plus 0 comma 3 plus 0 comma 0 1 plus 0 comma 0 5. 0 comma 0 0 5. We now this can be written as 4 multiplied by 10 plus 7 multiplied by 1 plus 3 multiplied by 10 to the negative 1 plus is a 1 so it's 1 multiplied by 10 to the negative 2 plus 5 times 10 to the all right Yes? I'll put it to the to the group later. Okay, so um, at this point we're moving to skill three. So comparing the size of decimal numbers, I want to know which one is the larger number. So what we do is we start off with the most significant number. Okay? As you can see here, 280. Or 2 is the most significant number. Then. Not so. And then 0 is the same. Then we have 0, but here we have 1. So which one of the two is larger? The 1. Did you see that, people? Yes, sir. So we can say, therefore, 20, 012 
is less than 20 comma 1 2 okay if you get b you get b the most significant figure is 5 in both cases so both is 5 units but here I got one tenth and here I got six tenths. So which one is larger? Six tenths or one tenth? Six tenths. Six tenths. So it's going to be five comma one six O oh, is less than five comma six. Okay? But add zeros there, it must not make any difference. Okay. See? Yeah, we got zero one. It's in as in the units place, not so. Comma one and one is the same, but then I got the one and a zero. So between the two, which one is bigger? The one has to be bigger than zero, not so. So it's going to be zero comma one one two is larger than zero comma one o oh, two. Okay. Any confusion there? Huh? And that basically brings us to the end of skill three. Okay, for homework. I'll give you a homework now.